Do you like it? Very nice. We just had a mold where it's set in very nice and fruity, passion fruit. Delicious after a um, grueling 10 minute run. <laughs> Golden Mile in um, Rapata Valley, Marlborough region. Um, so we're at Moa Brewery. We started here, which you may have seen some photos previously. We started here and we ended up finishing here. Um, it's been awesome riding through. Obviously we had a lovely lunch at the brewery, great food truck, yummy pulled pork, like sandwich, bun and a chicken jalapeno salsa. Boys cooked up a really good feast in that food truck. The beers are beautiful. We did like a six tray tasting for $25 and all the beers were delicious. The pills now which Simon had on the second visit back to the brewery wasn't on the tasting plate but was yummy and he so happened to buy a big bottle. A magnum, a magnum of it. 1.5 litres. 1.5 litres, $15. You've heard it so, here. $15. Very, very tasty. Totally a five store star. <laughs> See you, buddy. See ya. See ya. This guy. Our barman. He's a, he, was, he was the barman. He served us. Yeah. Five star. Five star rating. Really good beers. Really nice food. Yummy apple and rhubarb cider for the non beer lovers. And then we went a little bit further down the Golden Mile to a winery called... Uh, the something Vineyard. Something with a W. Normally I'm really onto it with names, but... Yeah, I don't really remember. And then there was number one, and they did really number nice one. sparkling. Sparkling. Got uh, a lovely bottle of champagne. For a gift for a friend. And in a French style, really good. Totally recommend it. Uh, so now we're gonna cycle back five or k's. No, I'm exaggerating. Maybe three. Maybe three k's. Feels like ten. But yeah, we've got a lot of beer to carry back now, so it's yeah. gonna be a slow ride. Loaded. But uh, yeah, totally recommend this place. Should have taken more images. Sorry, but I didn't of the inside. But take it from me, if you're in this area, come down because we had a and great time. And put it last on your list because it's open till seven, where everywhere else closes at four thirty. So that's another good tip. We, right. start, we peak too soon. Story of our life. We <laughs> are going to start cycling. Ciao. Wish us luck. Bye. After a few beautifully hedonistic days in Marlborough, sampling some of the local wines, cycling through almost endless vineyards and basking in beautiful New Zealand sunshine, it was eventually time for us to leave for the airport. It would be a lie if we said our spirits weren't a little low, faced with the prospect of having to leave such a vibrant and picturesque country. We had seen and experienced so much, and luckily the highs far outweighed the lows. we've been able to enjoy a six week taste of van life, taking some memorable photos, hiked some beautifully diverse terrain, and camped in some truly breathtaking places. Whilst we were sad that our time in New Zealand was at an end, we took it in turns to talk about all the things we were looking forward to when we got back to Perth. One of which was discovering and sharing more places in WA. Now all that was left was for us to brave the airport and then we would be home.
okay there. So we're at the airport, end of our holidays. New Zealand, you've been awesome. Yes. We were in you for a long time. Um, it was great, but now sadly we're at the airport and we have to go. A very rushed chicken too. So a bit of a rushed chicken, hence looking a bit knackered. But we're on here. the plus side, we get to see our dog yep. and we don't have to sleep in a van anymore. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> see Brooks tonight and sleep in our bed. Yeah. Oh, nice. So we hope you've enjoyed um, all the stuff that um, we've made for you, all the uh, footage and what have you. You've seen some really amazing sites, like everything I've taken doesn't do it justice, but we've had a great time. Yeah. Now we've just got to do the last final push home. Yep. We better join the queue. Yep.